Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Air Force is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Fielded at the four. At the 30. And they push him out at the 48. You gotta love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He makes it out to midfield. the 50. It's second down. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. After a nice pickup. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Nice run there. They'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. Well, that's a strong run. It makes a statement when you can run the ball like that. He steps up. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 22-yard line, second down. He fights forward to about the 20. Throws it away. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. San Diego State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. It's our time. Mike 42, Mike 42. Go! 648. He fights forward to about the 26. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. So the Aztecs with a three-point lead. Set to resume action here in the second quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. made right around the 22 yard line and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there it's third and 13 ball on their own 22 quick shot to the open receiver and he can't hang on to the ball nothing clicking there let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series
takes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. San Diego State has a three-point lead. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled at the 41. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 39. That makes it second and eight. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 25. Number 21 brings him down at the 25 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a zone of four. That brings him second and goal. Check, check. Spider. Spider. Check. Finds a man, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 54 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive on this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. Second and six. Ball on their own 29. Complete, he's hit right away. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's tackled right around the 42 yard line. The Falcons call a timeout, that's their second of the half. Yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. From the 40 yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner out of bounds right around the 40. So the Aztecs defensive back left earlier with an injury. They need him back out there because right now the offense has been picking on his replacement. Caught with room to work. And he tackles him hard at the 34. Now he's scrambling. Brought down around the 33-yard line. We played a half of football. The Aztecs in front, 10-0. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
it's David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it. But what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third and short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as opposed to four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming we're very much swings in favor of you. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some AstroTurf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we Let's welcome you back to the action here. Just, just about set for the, for the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. San Diego State's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings up second. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 28. Gain of two yards. They'll bring him down around the 38 yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Open field. Tackle around the 35-yard line. He found his halfback and turned it into a big game. This kid is a very versatile back. He can run the ball. He can make the catch. But what you don't notice is his blocking. This guy's just an all-around player. From the 35-yard line, first down. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. You'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 36. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. So the Aztecs linemen come off the field with an injury. Doesn't appear to be too serious, though, so we might see him back in this game. Complete. He's got room. That's a great tackle at the 16. That's three down and one to go. San Diego State's got a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Just under two to go in the game. Let's go! Green 95! Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. And 
so the fullback gets a nice gain on the option there. They're using everyone. Well, the thing about the option is a defense, you have to account for everybody. Here, the offense gives it to the fullback, and he picks up the first down on a huge gain. Caught end zone for the touchdown. What a time for that touchdown, and now they've still got a chance in this game. The draw within a field goal. And he adds the extra point. Taken down by the kicker. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Now, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. That carries for a pickup of three. This linebacker's had a couple of years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense is only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. And he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. Air Force is out of timeouts. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. Just over a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. it out to about the eight-yard line. Third down, six to go. Ball on the eight-yard line. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Close and competitive all day long. And in the end, a low-scoring final. 10-7, Aztecs. And the Air Force Falcons. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.